Have you ever wondered how a woman actually places her baby for adoption? I had someone ask me recently, if a woman became pregnant just to give that baby up to a friend, do we have to have a middleman? Do we need a professional involved? Why can't we just do it between the two of us and I have to worry about lawyers or anybody else involved. So I'm gonna answer that question in this video. Um, but before we get started, if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Lacrice Bundy. I am a faith-based adoption lawyer and I have helped over a hundred families finalize their adoption successfully. To get more content about adoption, foster care, and also advocacy for children in need, be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell button to be notified when I post a new video. So the question that I was asked, can a woman just give her baby to her friends? The short answer is no. I've actually worked in a very, very small number of adoptions where a woman decided to become pregnant for the sole purpose of placing that baby with her friend who was unable to have children for years. So they kind of had this agreement and she said, hey, because I'm able to get pregnant easily, I will be pregnant for you basically like a surrogate, but it was just a private agreement. And once the baby is born, you can have the child. So can a woman do that? Absolutely. I mean, we have the choice to help our friends in that way and to do that kind of thing. But when it comes to actually placing that baby for adoption, regardless of who the adoptive parents are, whether the adoptive parents are that woman's best friend, uncle, aunt, whoever you are, and no matter how you are related, the adoption still needs to be done legally, which means that usually when you have a situation like that, we call it a self-matching or independent adoption, where the adoptive parents and the biological mother found each other without a middleman involved, right? There was no agency that was advertising. There was nobody else who was trying to get them together. They were just able to find each other on their own. Again, that's what we call self-matching or independent adoption. So even in those situations where the adoptive parents are a friend of the family, a relative of the biological mom and things like that, we still have to follow the normal legal process of an adoption. Because regardless of who the adoptive parents are in their relation to you, the birth mother and birth father still have to legally relinquish their parental rights to that minor child before that adoption can be done legally, okay? So if you're in that situation where maybe you've matched with your friend or you guys had this kind of private agreement going on and they're gonna be pregnant and cure the pregnancy so that you can have the baby, please keep in mind that you still have to go through the legal process of adoption. So if you're at the beginning of the adoption process and you wanna know what all of your options are, you wanna know the pros, the cons, and the cost of each type of adoption, I have a free guide for you that you can click below to access and it really just gives you a streamlined view of all of the options that are available to you when it comes to adoption and being able to compare all of them side by side so that you can make the decision that's best for your family. So how does a woman actually place her baby for adoption? There are really two primary ways that a woman can do that. She can place her baby for adoption through an agency or she can place her baby for adoption through what we call self-matching, okay? So let's talk about the agency. So when a woman places her adoption through an agency, it's usually because she contacts an agency. She says, hey, I'm pregnant, I don't know what to do. She meets with somebody from the agency, a caseworker or a counselor, and they start to give her all of the information that she needs to make the best decision for her and the baby. Now, agencies normally are helping birth mothers, but they're also helping adaptive parents. So most agencies also have a list of adaptive parents that want to adopt. And so then what that agency does is they're the middlemen and they try to match this biological mom, her story and all of that with an adaptive family that they think is going to fit what she's looking for when it comes to adoption, okay? So that's one of the ways that a woman can place her baby for adoption. When she does it that way, she's able to have the proper resources, she's able to have the proper support that she needs. Now, caveat to that, there are you know, agencies who obviously are scamming people and who are not doing what they're supposed to do. But there are also a lot of agencies who are doing the right kind of work, who are really there to support the children and the pregnant mom, and who wanna make sure that everything is done legally, okay? You just kinda have to make sure that you sift through those bad apples and pick the one that actually is gonna help you and help your adoption go smoothly. So the second way that a woman can place her baby for adoption is through self-matching, which I mentioned a little bit earlier in the video. So self-matching again is when uh, the mom and the adaptive parents, they match without anybody helping them do so. So that's one of the 
the most popular ways now actually that birth mothers are connecting with adoptive families is through self-matching. They connect through social media, you know, Instagram, Facebook, and things like that. So in that situation, you don't have an agency as a middleman who's helping provide the resources that the biological mom needs and stuff like that. When you go through a self-matching process, when it's just you and the adoptive family, so when it comes to that, an attorney is necessary for the biological mother because again, she is relinquishing her constitutional parental rights to that child. And to do that, every single state has listed a way that a woman can safely place that baby for adoption by whoever she wants that baby to have. And so if she doesn't go through the proper legal steps to do that, then the adoption cannot be finalized and be legal, okay? And so when the woman goes through a self-matching process, normally, Going through an attorney sometimes can be the cheaper option, but she can still choose to, even if she self-matches with an adoptive family, she can still choose to work with an agency and work with another professional that's going to give her the support and the resources that she feels like she needs to make the best decision for her and the baby. So comment below and let me know, have you ever heard of a situation or have you been in a situation where your friend, became pregnant for the sole purpose of placing that child with your family. I'd love to know. For more inspiration, check out this video right here about how Christian and Allison were able to adopt in just 12 weeks. If you like this video, make sure that you hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and share this with your friends. Thanks for watching. Bye.